primary colors, and we're going to get a little rowdy here. Sounds like fun. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> What are they? Red, yellow, and blue. Yes. Sixteen. Uh, wait, uh, wait, I'm waiting for the show. Uh, how old are you? Sing a song about it. I get to play with yellow and blue. Great. Yeah. My name is Terry Werner, and I'm the uh, secondary art teacher here at Birkin School for the Blind. My job is to teach them a lot of the things that's in the world, and I can do that through the arts because the arts are everywhere. There's a lot of good things about teaching here because my students are like sponges. They just want to know so many no more things. And they haven't been exposed to a lot of things. And one of those big things is they've never been exposed to a lot of risk taking. So art kind of makes you take risks because you have to have ideas. You have to say your ideas. You have to try to work on your ideas. And it's really a lot of fun to watch the children grow. The students get an awful lot of out art. How oh, does Doing it uh, make you feel good. I I enjoy doing it. I, I it's um it's it's fun. I love to paint my. Fi I like to paint. I, I I like to do finger painting too. Have you ever been in a uh, show? Yes. Before? Very good question. I was. Uh, I went to the Museum of Fine Arts and uh, they exhibited. Uh, I exhibited a hut I made. I I made a hut. Yeah. It was fun. It took some time. Um, I made it out of clay. What about uh, do you like working on? I love clay. What are some of the things you made with clay, Grant? I've made cups, and I've made pots, and I've made bowls, and I've made um, I made like a little garden. Uh, it's like a tray that has clay clay flowers and uh, some other things in it. Why do you like working with clay? I like the tech the tactile because uh, it's very tactile and I like things that are um, easy to feel. They learn so much through the other senses. So if you use the sense of touch on a form like um, a circle, okay, if I use the sense of touch I can tell that it just goes around and around and around and around forever. You know, it's never ending. It's infinity. It's a circle. What does that mean to somebody who can't see it? If you say it's a circle, What's a circle? I mean, you know, that doesn't mean much. It's conceptual. You have to be able to try to teach the concepts of things that they can take on and use in other classes and in their life. So when you say the clock is round, they'll know, oh, it's a circle. And it just goes around and around and around. That's why it only has to be 1 to 12, because it just keeps going around and around and around. Anywhere on that paper. You've got a huge piece of paper, let it rip. When my students finish, even if they're just mark making, I can tell which work was whose. For instance, with Corinne, we had three different songs. She started off with kind of a staccato circle, going around and around and around because the music was kind of a rock beat. Then she went into a more fluent circle, but fast because it was also fast. And then when we went into Anita Baker here, she got this movement of the soul piece where it was heavy on one end and light on the top. You can see how much it's it's just gorged down here and then it floats up there and gorged and float. So she's got most of her um, heavy marking down here and up here where she bridged the top of the, the arc. So I could tell Corinne's very easily from where Thomas's is. He started off with just kind of up and down and a little tap because he wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do. And then with the yellow, he tried to cover more paper. And he started covering his red, which gave him the orange. When he came to blue, he changed totally, and that was the last song. He would hold it, and you see all these heavy marks here? Yeah. He would hold it, and then he'd flow through it. So it's almost like the same thing that she did, where she came down, and then flew through it, and then heavy, and float through it. Only he touched it, and then flowed. And he actually started getting the circular movement, too, which is just because of the um, interpretation of, from him for the music. So, they're all very different. It makes me feel very good and sometimes it kind of shows my emotion. You know, if I'm feeling happy, it's kind of like a very sparkly drawing and if I'm sad, it's kind of not, you know. Do you, do you always play art? Music, I mean? I do. I'm, I play the harmonica, and I play the piano and I sing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know the harmonica too well yet, but <laughs> I'm learning. By, and actually, the way I'm, I, the thing that inspired me to play the harmonica, or the person, I should say. You can, you can. Okay. Take a 
Take a leg. Take a leg. It's the person who inspired me to play it, and it's and I actually saw him in uh, September at a concert here in Boston. Oh wow! What's his name? Stevie Wonder. Oh wow! Yeah, my I, he's my idol. And I actually told him that. Oh, wow. Let's see if you can pick out the red one. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, you got it! <laughs> you have to have fun in my class. If you're not having fun, you're not open enough to be able to take those risks. And without the risks, you're not going to make what you really have in your heart.